Hello 3H, how are you doing? It's another week gone. It's another week in which we can celebrate everything that we've been up to this week. And first of all, I wanted to give you two huge big thumbs up and say well done to all of you who have been sending in your work this week. I have been really impressed with character descriptions, and your maths that you have sent in and your knowledge of World War II, I have been really impressed with all the work that has been sent in. So well done to all of you who have been sending in your home learning. But that's not forgetting those of you that have been in school. And I have been told that you are working really hard and well done to all of you. It's really good to hear how hard you have been working. I've been enjoying doing your online lessons this week and I've really enjoyed doing all my filming and that's been really lovely and hopefully you will have enjoyed the videos as well. Now I did promise um, some TT Rockstar updates. I have got a login to TT Rockstars. I just need a little bit of teaching on it. But the one thing I saw, okay, is 45% of us have been on TT Rockstars this week. And if any of you are really good on your percentages, that's less than half of us. Less than half of us have been on TT Rockstars. So once I can get it up and running, and I've spoken to Mr. Ke Kellum and got some information on how I can print off some certificates, I will get some certificates winging their way to you guys who are top of those leaderboards. That's a promise from Mrs. Pledger. Uh, what have you guys been reading? I am still reading The Midnight Guardians and it's getting brilliant. And do you know what? In The Midnight Guardians this week, it even mentioned a barrage balloon. And I thought, do you know what? If I'd have read this sort of a couple of years ago, I wouldn't have known what a barrage balloon was. But because of our topic lesson, I, w I knew straight away what they were talking about. So again, my knowledge from our topic lessons is making my reading and that I'm doing for fun more interesting and I'm more knowledgeable about it. So I was really proud that I knew what a barrage balloon was in my Midnight Guardian book. So some of you have sent in um, some little videos of you reading to your siblings. That is brilliant. Anything that you would like to send me that tells me what you are doing in terms of things like reading, send it to me so I can see what you are up to. That would be really lovely. And as I said, TT Rockstars, get those fingers going, get speedy, and we'll get on top of that leaderboard. So the last thing I wanted to do is share with you a little story. Now this one, actually it's not a little story, it's a little bit bigger. So we're going to read a little bit of this each Friday. And it's called Yours Sincerely, Giraffe. And it's a really lovely story. And it says, Giraffe is bored as usual. This is the blurb. Giraffe is bored as usual. He'd love a friend to share things with, so he writes a letter and sends it as far as possible across the other side of the horizon. There he finds a pen pal called Penguin. Giraffe knows nothing about penguins and his letters are full of questions. What does Penguin look like? Where, where is a penguin's neck? And so the letters begin to fly from horizon to horizon. So I thought... I would share this book with you by a person called Megumi Iwasa and the illustrations are by Jun Takabataki. Okay. Chapter one. A bored giraffe writes his first letter. There we go. This is the African savannah, home to one bored giraffe. On this day, like every other day, the sky was clear and blue. Cream pluff, puff clouds drifted slowly by. A gentle breeze crossed the plain and there was an en endless supply of acacia leaves which giraffe loved to eat. Sounds perfect, you say. You're quite right. Giraffe had everything he needed. But in fact, there was one thing he was missing, 
an extra special friend. He had no one to share his feelings with and also, alas, he was a very bored giraffe. And one more boring day was coming to an end. Today was just the same as ever. Nothing happened as usual and I'm just the same as ever. Bored as usual. Giraffe watched the sun slip slowly out of the sky. The horizon was mirrored in his blue, big brown eyes. Suddenly he blinked. I wonder what's on the other side, he thought. And what sort of animals live there? He stretched his long neck as far as it would go, but he couldn't see beyond the savannah. Wait! I know! I'll write a letter! Where did he get that idea? Well, when he was munching on leaves that afternoon, he happened to see this sign hanging from a tree. Announcing a new mail service. Willing to deliver anything, anywhere. Contact me anytime. Fee, up to you, from a bored pelican. There are lots of bored animals on the savannah. A bored pelican? That sounds just like me, thought Giraffe. Maybe if I write a letter, I'll feel less bored. And if I use the new delivery service, Pelican will be less bored too. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll write a letter. That night, Giraffe fell asleep, feeling much happier than usual, as he thought about all the things he wanted to say. The next day, he wrote his very first letter and took it straight to Pelican. Pelican was a little nervous. After all, this was his first customer. Welcome to the Pelican Delivery Service. Where shall I take your letter? Giraffe was a little nervous too. Give it to the first animal you meet on the other side of the horizon, he said. The horizon? Uh, you mean that place over there? Pelican pointed to the border between the bright blue sky and the green savannah. That's right, Giraffe was beginning to feel excited. And please bring back a reply. Of course, the horizon doesn't look very far. I should be able to make it there and back before the sun goes down. Pelican flapped his wings and flew up in the air, higher and higher, as if he were being sucked into the sky. Be sure to get a reply, Giraffe shouted. OK! In no time, Pelican had shrunk to a tiny speck and disappeared. And we'll leave that there and we'll find out what happens to giraffe next week. So as I said, thank you for all the hard work that you have been doing over the last week. It has made me really pleased every day to receive all of your emails. And stay safe, have a lovely weekend, try and get outside and enjoy the fresh air, and I will speak to you next week. <laughs>